What's up, Level Uppers? Andrew here, about to play PlayStation VR for the first time. Fortunately, our Best Buy got it. We're one of a few hundred that did. So I think we're gonna, I think there's a multiple demos here. They got the Shark one and they might have the Heist one. So I'm gonna try them out. I'll let you know what I think in just a moment. That's that's a weird feeling. Kind of goes down like that. This is neat. This is my first time ever trying any virtual reality. Okay. Does that seem real? It's a big ass shark. It's funny, as soon as the shark comes, you almost anticipate the jaws music. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like I want to move my leg. <laughs> Geez, now I'm open. This is great. Feel exposed. <laughs> Fully exposed. <laughs> <laughs> this is scary, in a way. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the ocean. I can't look at the shark. No! <laughs> <laughs> this is so freaky. I don't think I like it. No, you want to take it off? Not yet. Just don't, don't look around so much then. I don't want to see the shark. <laughs> yes, you the do. Shark doesn't come late. You want to see the shark. No. Trust me, it's, like, it's the cool part. It's not like it can actually hurt you. I don't care, this is so freaky. Look at the turtle. I see the turtle. <laughs> Number 10. Oh my god. Oh my god! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! This is so freaky. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait until at least something happens. No, no. Tell, is there a shark coming? No, not, not yet, not yet. I do not want to see the Give shark. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. No, no, this is so freaky. This is what I did at Disney World too. I freaked out. <laughs> you don't like it. Just close your eyes and it all goes away. <laughs> <laughs> it's neat though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a shark? No. Nope, just a stingrays right now. Do you want it to, do you want me to take it off and put the shark on? Yes. Are you sure? I don't, I do not Well then, just wait for the jellyfish. You have to get the jellyfish, I'll take it out. Yeah, the, the jellyfish are neat too. Oh god, oh my god, it's getting It's hard. just a jellyfish now, don't worry.
<laughs> it doesn't attack you at first, it just kind of circles. No, I don't want to see the shark. <laughs> oh man, I really wish you would check out the shark. But no, okay. I will scream at Best Buy. No, it's the shark. <laughs> if you want us to take it off, it's getting close to the shark. I don't want to see the shark. Okay. okay. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! <laughs> <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. You were an adult the whole time when he was doing it, and then you just turned into a 12 year old kid. Oh my god, that is so freaky. All right, so I've had a few days now to think about my experience with PlayStation VR, and here's how I'm currently feeling. I think that if the games and the experiences are there, and not necessarily this holiday season and maybe not even next year, but throughout this generation, over the next three years or so, however long it lasts, if interesting and compelling games and experiences are dedicated to PlayStation VR and also to Oculus Rift and also to HTC Vive, if that happens, I think that VR is the next big thing. I really do think it's it's the future of the gaming medium. I don't think it's going to take over entirely, of course. You're going to have a place for uh, for normal controllers and normal games. I just feel like this is not going to be a fad. This is not going to be a gimmick. It's not going to be motion control. It's not going to be uh, 3D. I think that this is going to be kind of on par with the N64 when it first released and everybody saw full 3D for the first time with Super Mario 64. I think that VR has that possibility, especially if next generation, the next Xbox, the next PlayStation, maybe even the next Nintendo, all utilize it from the very beginning of the generation, VR in the box. Now, the reason I feel this is I was fooled by PlayStation VR. When I had that headset on for the first time, and this is the first time I've ever used any VR, I said that in the video, I've never used Oculus, I've never used uh, Gear VR. Uh, the only thing I've ever done is those YouTube videos where you can kind of just look around like the Castle Crashers one and whatnot. So I've never done true VR before. This was my first experience with that. And from the moment that the, the lift started to lower into the sea in that demo, I got butterflies in my stomach and I knew like, okay, this is fooling me. I feel like I'm in this environment right now. And the part that really hit me, and I think I talked about this in, in the actual video itself when I was demoing it, when I look over to the right and there's this display there, I reached out my hand as if I wanted to touch it. And when I realized that my hand wasn't there, I had this really strange feeling inside. Like it, it totally threw me off like, holy shit like this this isn't real like i'm not in this uh and, I, and what's crazy is if i guess if you have playstation move controllers in your hand there's a possibility that they could have given me some type of you know virtual arm uh to fool me even further but maybe that would have taken me out of it too because it would have clearly not been my arm uh and in e valkyria when i looked down it was a woman's body which was also very weird um and i, I don't think that was the best it, it kind of looked a little off uh, i was much more impressed with the uh, the shark demo with into the deep it might have been called i, I don't quite remember but it, experiences kind of interest me more than games uh, because I feel like when you're doing an experience, you're just like thinking of crazy out there ideas like what can we do to throw people off and and make them believe that they're in this. Uh, and I, that's what happened with the shark demo. I'm trying to think of some other moments that really, really got me. When the shark comes later on and, and it's kind of playing with you at the beginning, but when it really comes at you and, and pushes through the fence, I don't know if it was apparent in the video, but my leg reflex was to pull back and I did like I pulled my leg back as if I thought that it was going to grab my foot and that was another moment where I was like damn like this this got me it, it totally fooled me um and Kristen's reaction my god if uh if that's any indication I think that casual gamers are going to really be fooled by this you could even see around her um that certain people were stopping and I don't think the video picked up all that there were many people that were stopping and looking and laughing because Kristen was having such a crazy reaction and that's what I'm thinking this holiday season is when uh when this is in a lot more Best Buys and a lot more game stops people are going to stop and watch this or they're going to try it out for themselves hopefully and it's gonna I think it's gonna be a lot like Kinect when Kinect first released that was that was big uh, I remember in the Best Buys and people were doing like little dance marathons and, and whatnot, doing Dance Central, and uh, everybody was getting into it, and I think that's what's going to happen here with PlayStation VR. If Sony could have a hit on their hands. If they can manufacture enough, I think they're going to sell them all, because uh, you're going to have those hardcore 
uh, gamers that are going to spend 400 500 no problem. They don't care. And then you're going to have the people that try it out for the first time in Best Buy, and they're just like, holy crap, this is awesome. Like, uh, I never tried VR like this before. You know, we're all used to the 90s VR, the uh, first kid VR, where you got this huge helmet on your head and, and it's dragging you down. And that's the other thing I want to bring up, actually, is that the thing is really, really comfortable. Um, once it's on your head, you really kind of forget that it's there. It has adjustments uh, to pull it further away. Um, and that was... Actually, let me go to that right now. That's probably my biggest disappointment from this experience is that I couldn't quite get it focused. The guy kept telling me to, to adjust the um, the distance from my eyes, and I found that the further it was away from my eyes, the better focus that I had, as opposed to Kristen, the closer it was for her, the better focus she had. But either way, uh, I couldn't quite get the fuzziness away, but I'm concerned that that's just because the resolution is not high enough. It's 1080p, 1920 by 1080 for both eyes. You're sharing one 1080p screen for both eyes as opposed to, to I think some of the other ones where you have a 1080p screen for each eye individually um, and that's kind of where things need to be but you're not going to get that at a budget price of $400. Um, they're trying to hit mass market appeal here and that's why the, the graphics are good, don't get me wrong, like when you look past the blurriness, the graphics that are there are like high-end PS3, but it kind of looks like you're looking through cellophane or plastic or something. It's just, it's, it's pretty blurry. Uh, it didn't ruin the experience for me by any means, but it, at the beginning it was like, oh damn, like I... I this isn't clear for me. I've got good eyes. Like, I've got pretty much 20-20 vision. So when I was in there with the headset on my head, I was like, this is a little little disappointing that I can't get this to be as clear as my eyesight normally. Uh, maybe that's something that I'll get past. Or maybe even, uh, I think this is a long shot, but maybe if I had the time to adjust it a little further uh, in the back with, like, the knob and also with the... The slider in the front, maybe I could have gotten it a little bit better, but I doubt it. To be honest with you, I, I highly doubt that it's that it's going to get much better than I had it. I think it's just the limitation of the resolution uh, right now in this generation, and that's why, as as I said earlier in this video, I'm looking forward to next generation, three four years down the line, when the technology is there that it can be priced competitively and be introduced into every console uh, with a higher resolution. That might mean that we need to get an entirely new headset in three, four years, and the PlayStation VR that we're getting this year is going to be obsolete, up, obsolete pretty soon, and that's kind of a bummer, but uh, it's worth it if this is going to be the revolution that I think it might be. So that's really all I have to say right now. I'm very much looking forward to finding out uh, more about PlayStation VR and more about the games that they're going to be offering. We've seen Batman Arkham VR. We know Star Wars Battlefront. We saw the Mars one. I can't remember the name of it. Final Fantasy 15 is even getting a demo. Uh, I hope that there's more than that. I hope No Man's Sky is announced uh, in the coming months as a bundled game with PlayStation VR this holiday. I think if that's the case, uh, they've got a hit on their hands. I asked the Sony rep while I was at Best Buy and he said that he did not know if No Man's Sky would be uh, VR compatible, but I, I don't think he really had that kind of information. So uh, I'm going to keep out hope on that one. I think that this is going to be my big Christmas purchase um, instead of the PlayStation Neo. If, if that comes out this year, I think PlayStation VR is more what I'm leading, leaning towards, and that had a lot to do with my experience at Best Buy. Uh, I think that you guys should try it out. If you have a Best Buy near you that has PlayStation VR, do yourself a favor, try it out. You might not be blown away like I was, but I, I definitely think that you should give it a shot and you might be surprised. Uh, so that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it or just like it at all. Uh, leave your comments uh, below. Maybe if you've tried PlayStation VR, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, and I'll catch you next time, of course. Until next time, take care. And as always, don't forget to level up. Hey Level Uppers, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to check out our other content, please do. Like your favorite superhero podcast, Power Up, right here. Or for everything PlayStation, it only does PlayStation right there. For movies, television, and Netflix, check out the Lights Up show down this way. And for the latest episode of our gaming talk show, The Level Up Show, go right there. But most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe right there. there. Nailed it. We did it. That was awesome. Yeah, that was good. Which one do you think they'll click on? I think Probably, Level Up show, obviously. obviously. Hopefully, all of them. Yeah. Station. I would like if they watched them all, I think. Lights Up is new, though. I think they should definitely check that out. Lights Up's a new one. Power We're Up's always a new about one. Seven, eight seconds now. Yeah. We're. <laughs> well, you think they've clicked on something? <laughs> We're still here, so no. <laughs> I think they should. We should give them a little on, bit. Could you click on something? Click on something, guys. We need to go. The hell are you? I'm going to give it three for? seconds. Watch all of them. Three. Stare them down until they do it. One. Ah!